So we don't have anywhere to put delicates really on the clothesline. Um, and I had run out of clothespins. The girls keep using them for other things. So I have a little clothesline and some little ice screws that I'm going to put into that short space on the balcony. And it gives me an excuse to ride my bike. And I've already checked the mail, ready to go back and get another. When I When I was younger, when I was really sick and I needed a reason to go outside and get air and sunshine, I would ride three miles into town and sit at the library for three hours and rest. And then I would ride home and I would do that every day and I got well. Okay, now that my hair's out of my face, we can get to work. So I'm putting some short stacked clotheslines on the deck. Reason being the regular clothesline is long and meant for heavy things. We're doing laundry today, so I'm trying to get this done before the girls go home. As you can see, I've done it just a little bit, but these are saggy. They're taking up a lot of real estate where instead if I did something tight, and strung and it would just be a lot more efficient so let's do this okay so first thing I'm gonna give myself some measurements so that they go straight across so I'm gonna do them at six inch increments six did I get that at six six twelve where's it eighteen What I really love, favorite thing in the world, is when I let my kids use my tools and they dig in it in the dirt so that the bit gets dull. So glad they like projects. Really wish they wouldn't dig in the dirt. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a teensy tiny little bit. Okay, these are what I'm gonna be using. I could've used smaller ones, but I really did want them to be kind of secure. Okay, I'm just gonna point it inside the house for this moment because you can't see the door frame. Now, if John was here, he would be telling me to stop ruining the little house. But, John isn't here and he can only yell at me from Oklahoma as he watches this video. We've always lit, well, not always. Okay, when we first got married, we lived in a teeny tiny little house. And so I used every single surface as best I could to make space. Um, and so I hung things from all the walls and I had little special shelves and I really, really made use of all my space. And it drove John crazy because I was always tinkering with things and putting holes in walls. So yeah, I have a problem. There's clothesline. A cotton clothesline. I feel like these stretch a lot but it was super cheap and I have used it before and it did last a really long time. And so we're just gonna try it. Must be the other end that I was supposed to pull out. Yep, that is the other end. All right. See how much that stretches? It drives me crazy about these ones. I kind of like the wire ones that are um, that are covered with like the plastic. But as you know, that will kill you according to the state of California. So we're going with good old-fashioned mercurized herbicide pesticide grown cotton. All right, you can see how much tighter that is. It'll probably need to be adjusted again and tightened up again. But um, for washcloths, which are not heavy, it works pretty well. Um, I don't like it for heavier clothes because it really, it really does stretch a lot. And I am planning on closing the deck in, in plastic for winter, clear plastic so that it will help keep the house warmer. And I'm kind of thinking that it would be a great place to hang laundry in the winter because um, it, wouldn't, it, it would be warmer in, during the day it would warm up in there. 
and I could just dry clothes on racks. Okay, these are the clothes pins. I want to learn how to make clothes pins. I think that would be super cool. Because small children have a tendency to lose clothes pins or break clothes pins, and so I'm always going through cl clothes pins. Oh, these ones are nice. Okay, so the last batch that I got was from Walmart. This batch I got from uh, True Value. And dang, are they nice. They're like twice the size, and that spring is really tough. I should have got three packages. Okay, they are called, okay, they are called Honey Can Do 24 pack, 24 pack wood clothespins, and dang, were they super, super nice. Really happy with those. Okay, I just remembered what I'm supposed to say. There's a link in the description below. I will see if I can find these clothespins. They were really nice. I'm trying to transition away from having to panic about a video every day and trying to find other ways to uh, make up the difference, so there's the Amazon code below. Um, okay, so at this point, at this point I already put, I already put my scissors up, so I'm going to go get my scissors. So these are my dirty but dry washcloths. And here's two more that fell on the ground and thus did not get dried. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on so they can finish drying. And that one is not dry yet. And, you know, it does matter when you teach kids how to do this kind of stuff because if they learn the wrong way, then they are always going to assume that it's okay to have, like, laundry folded over on each other and not drying. So this is good practice for little girls. Okay, so now I'm going to come up and cut these ugly things down. Doesn't that look pretty now? I just barely made these washcloths so they have a little bit of string, a little bit of thread on the ends so that I guess I didn't clip very good. So I'm going to clip those. I think that looks a lot better. Here's my dirties, the bottom of my closet. These are now dry and safe to put in. Okay, I have one more thing I want to do before the girls get home and that is to pull the inner tube out of an old bike so that I can use it for the cargo container that I carry with my bike so I can carry more stuff but it needs a little piece of rubber on it and the old tire is totally trashed so it should be a good place to take it from and to fix things up just trying to get the little things done before the girls get home because when the girls get home that's when I edit and then they do their chores and then we read the other thing we're going to do today is try and get laundry done so lots to do and I'm so excited to have those clotheslines up Okay, so this is my basket of wonderfulness from when I used to bike a lot, and this is the uh, cargo bag uh, and frame that I use that goes on the back of my bike. Now this part goes around the post of the seat, but you need to have rubber here or else it slides. Here is the poor sacrificial victim. Um, the tires are completely destroyed. Down it's just handy if you don't want to have a backpack or if you want to be able to carry more stuff. Anyway, these come down or they can go up inside like that so that it's more of a, so it doesn't hang down. And these are here to protect the sides of the bag from running into the tire. It does socks and underwear really well. The only weakness I see is if you want them to drain out well and you don't want to burn your hands, you got to empty it out the bottom. Okay, take the old dirty washcloth down and bring them here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Eating our cricket today. Yeah? Did he bring it in or something? Yeah, for show and tell. We got our show and tell. Um, the lid is on, so it doesn't have much pressure. Didn't you already remember? Didn't you remember? 
remember last time? Well, I remember last time. I didn't remember this. Actually, I think you're the one who reminded me last time, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but I overlap the clothes so that one clothespin holds down two pieces of clothing. So two pieces of clothing overlapped with one clothespin over it. And that way I use half the clothespins that I ordinarily would have. Again, these were much better clothes pins. I really like them. Is. Overlap it, put the pin, make sure it's flat, overlap it, put the pin. What, honey? Just on the edge of the deck. I highly recommend overviewing your bucket list and finding things that you can do on a daily basis that make you feel like you're fulfilling your uh, your place in life. So, we'll talk to you later. Is it weird that I always feel like I have to brush my teeth before I talk to you guys?